In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to properly remove the barrel assembly from the Tipman Arms M422. We want to start off by removing the magazine and checking to make sure that we're clear of any kind of ammunition. Once we've done that, I'm going to go over some of the tools that we're going to use to remove the barrel properly. You're first going to want a benchtop vise. You're going to want a vise block. You're going to also want an AR-15 armorer's wrench and a torque wrench. Now we're going to head over to the uh, vise and get this rifle in the vise and uh, start to remove the barrel. All right, now that we have the rifle set up in the vise, we're going to start off by removing the uh, handguard. Uh, the easiest way of doing this is grabbing your delta ring here, and you're going to pull the delta ring all the way to the rear, um, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and pull the right-hand side of the handguard off first, and then we'll go ahead and take off that left side of the handguard. From there we're going to go ahead and grab our AR-15 armor's wrench and we're going to loosen up the barrel nut. You want to make sure that you have it fully engaged on those teeth and we're going to go ahead and loosen that up. We're going to remove the barrel nut and the delta ring. And you're going to want to be careful when you slide this barrel nut all the way forward because there are two uh, split washers directly behind it. So we'll go ahead and remove those split washers and we're going to set these off to the side. You want to make sure that you don't lose those split washers. From there, we're just going to go ahead and kind of wiggle the barrel from left to right and pull away from the receiver. And I will point out that you do have this pin on the top of the barrel which will index with the receiver all right, so we'll go ahead and get that pulled out of the receiver here. All right, and you can see that there is a little bit of oil on there, and that'll help get that barrel to slide right back in there. Um, now, one thing that I'm going to you know, tell you about is on the inside of the receiver here, you have your uh, ejector, okay? and your ejector it indexes onto the barrel and there's a slight groove on the left hand side of the barrel there okay you want to make sure that when you put your barrel back into the receiver that you get it indexed properly now the best way that I've done this and it, it, you're kinda of going at it blind here but um, I start by slipping the barrel right back into the receiver and I have that pin kind of off to the left just a little bit. And then what I do is I, I push it back in there and kind of jostle it around a little bit. And you'll feel it grab and then it'll slide right into the receiver. Now, you don't want to apply too much force to that. You just kind of want to gradually wiggle the barrel back and forth. And then it should slide right back in. Okay. Now going back to the split washers, these are very important, okay? You don't want to reassemble it without putting these split washers back into place, okay? So now that you have your groove exposed there for the split washer, you're going to go ahead and put that back on there. And then with your free hand, go ahead and slide your barrel nut and your delta ring back down and go ahead and start to thread that back on. And I get it as tight as I can by hand and then kind of just twist the barrel a little bit make sure that you know nothing weirds going on there it's not rotating or anything like that. 
okay? And once you have that in place, I'm gonna go off to the side here and grab our torque wrench. Now, the torque setting that we have set up for this is between 20 and 30 foot-pounds, okay? And um, the one thing that I will tell you is I set it at the lowest setting on the torque wrench first, okay? And then I torque it, and then once it's torqued, I go ahead and set it from 20 all the way up to 30, and then I will adjust it to where our barrel nut is lined up properly. And what I mean by that is, um, like for example, on your traditional AR-15s, you have that gas tube, okay? And your gas tube obviously needs to index the barrel nut. We're still gonna do that, but obviously we don't run a gas tube. The reason we do it that way is so our hand guard is you know, properly aligned. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on our wrench. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set it to that 20, uh, 20 foot pound torque. And we're gonna go ahead and get it torqued down properly. So you heard that click there. Now I'm gonna set it to 30. All right, now we have it set to 30. Okay, and what I want to do is I just want to get an index to where that hand guard is going to fit on there nice and straight. Make sure we get our wrench on there properly. And I do have a little notch on my tool here so I can see whether or not we're lined up. Okay, so from there. I believe we're pretty close to being lined up. I'm going to go ahead and fit this hand guard and double check. And it looks like our rail on top here is nice and straight. So that, that worked out perfect. So we'll go ahead and I'll kind of repeat this over. Grab your uh, delta ring and you're going to pull that all the way down and back towards the rear of the receiver here to compress that spring and then start off with the front of your hand guard and go ahead and tip that in just like that make sure it's nice and secure doesn't really matter which side you start with I like to start with the right hand side just because it has that little bit longer section of rail and then same thing over here on the left hand side Pull that delta ring back down. Make sure it's nice and secure. You can go ahead and give it a little tug. Make sure it's nice and secure. And that's how you properly remove and reinstall the Tipman Arms M4 22 barrel assembly.